All right, so let's solve a problem which appeared in JMA in 2025. Uh, this is a question from vectors. And in this question, we have been given that A vector is a unit vector perpendicular to the two given vectors B and C. And then this is making an angle of cos inverse minus one by three with this vector. And then also this unit vector A is making an angle of pi by three with this vector. Then we have to find out the value of alpha. So first of all, as this is a unit vector which is perpendicular to both the vector, then I'll have to have this done B cross C to be found out first. Um, because a vector which is perpendicular to both B and C will be a B cross C vector. And if it is a unit vector, then B cross C upon B cross C's magnitude is what will be the unit vector. So this is what is the unit vector we are talking about. So let's talk about B cross C first. So if you have to find out B cross C, then I have to do this i cap j cap and k cap and then we will find out one minus two and three and then two three and minus one so we will find i cap as two minus nine minus j cap as minus one minus six and k cap as three and plus four three plus four so what i get finally is minus seven i cap plus 7j cap, and then plus 7k cap. Okay, now we will find out the magnitude of B cross C. So that will be minus 7 whole squared, plus 7 squared, plus 7 squared. And then I can take 7 common, so this will be 1 plus 1 plus 1, which is 3. So 7 root 3, but this will be with the plus or a minus, right? So it could be either direction, like the vector could be this way, that way, right? So Mm, what we are trying to say is that this part could be plus or minus. So you can say that a vector could be either can say it's a plus or a minus minus i cap upon root three plus j cap upon root three plus k cap upon root three, and then in both the cases my magnitude will be seven root three itself, right? So that is what is the idea. As in like the B cross C, why I'm taking as plus or minus is because the vector's magnitude could remain same, but uh, with the direction could change a little bit, right? So this is what is your A cap here. Now, the next one will give us a clue as in whether I have to take the plus or a minus because here, when I do a dot product with this, I will find this angle, right? So, so what we have is A dot, whatever this P vector i cap plus j cap plus k cap is actually equal to mm, magnitude of a into magnitude of this i cap plus j cap plus k cap and then cos theta well. right so this one is uh, anyways you can do plus or minus and you can say this is minus 1 by root 3 plus 1 by root 3 and then plus 1 by root 3 so here you get one and this will be square root of three and this will be cos inverse of minus one by three cos of cos inverse of minus one by three so what i get is final is minus one by three right so from here like what you can conclude from here is that that if you take a plus sign right so anyways this is getting cancelled what you're here is plus or minus one by root three. But what you're getting here is minus one by root three. So this has to be a minus one by root three, right? So this is what you get from here that you got to have a minus sign here, right? So plus will not be there. So you can conclude that a cap vector is gonna be equal to plus i by root three minus j cap by root three and minus k cap by root three. Now you can do a dot product and find out the value of alpha because the angle between these two vectors is cos pi by, three, pi by 3, right? So you've been given i cap plus alpha j cap plus k cap, right? And that is, if you're doing this dot product with a dot this, and you get again get a cap's magnitude, i cap plus alpha j cap plus k cap's magnitude, and then cos of pi by 3. So from here, you get 1 by root 3, minus alpha by root 3, 
minus one by root three. And from here you get one, and this will be one plus alpha square plus one square root of that, and this will be cos pi by three will be uh, one by two. So one by root three is cancelled. What you get from here is minus two by two alpha by root three, and from here you get two plus alpha square. Right, then you can do a square of it. So this is four alpha square upon root three, and this will be two plus alpha square, or not root three, this will be three itself, right? So four alpha square by three, and then you subtract, and you get alpha square by three equals to two, or alpha square equals to six, and alpha equals to plus minus root six, right? So now you got to figure out whether alpha is plus root six or minus root six, right? So the whole idea is that, I mean, this part has to remain positive, right? If you put the negative sign over here, minus root six, this won't work, right? So uh, if you put plus root six, then it will not work because then this quantity will be negative while this quantity is positive. So alpha equals to basically, you will take minus root six, then this quantity whole quantity will become positive and then you can say that both of them are equal, okay? So yeah, alpha is actually minus root six is what you would be concluding from here. And that is what will be your answer, alpha equals to minus root six. Okay, so yeah, so that is all for this question. If you got any queries, do ask me in the comment section below and I'll be happy to answer your queries. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a good day.